Early voting set a record this year with more than a million people casting their ballot in the first four days alone. We're starting to see how many people from each party have decided to cast their ballot early. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us now live with which campaign is most concerned about these numbers. Laura? Right. You know, we are here at the Chavis early voting site in Raleigh, which has been seeing a steady stream of people all day and still is right now. You know, the experts all agree that early voting trends do not predict how, a, how an election is going to turn out, right? Whether you vote Tuesday or you vote on election day is still one vote. But there are historical patterns that groups of voters tend to follow. And one key demographic in particular has some Democrats worried. 2020 election, registered Democrats made up nearly half the voters who cast ballots in the first four days of early voting. In 2024, Democrats are running about even with Republicans so far and just a little ahead of unaffiliated voters. We're just not used to seeing that in the early voting numbers. Usually Republicans wait until election day to turn out. It's not true in 2024. Western Carolina political scientist Chris Cooper says that might be due to a new messaging strategy by GOP groups that seems to be working. The Republican Party at the state level and nationally has engaged in this movement they call bank your vote, right? So the idea is go ahead and use the early voting methods that are available to you. Their message is it will save the party money. You'll get fewer advertisements on your phone. You'll get fewer mailers in your mailbox. But it's also because some Democrats aren't turning out. Political strategist Thomas Mills says black voter turnout is down sharply from 2020, especially in rural parts of the state where black voters tend to be more socially conservative. I think there's been a lot of messaging from the Trump campaign meant to suppress the black vote around the, these all these ads about um, the government providing transgender services. Cooper and Mills agree. Early voting does not predict how the election will turn out and trends can turn around pretty quickly. But they both say Democrats should be paying attention because black voters are a critical part of their base. If I were the Democrats, I would be looking at those numbers now and trying to do something. I mean, first thing is to figure out what it is. And if it's a messaging problem, you need to have a response. So I asked the Democrats today what, if anything, they're planning to do differently looking at these numbers. They didn't directly respond to me, but in a statement, Harris campaign spokeswoman Dory McMillan referred us to comments Harris made today in Michigan about early voting turnout in general, saying, I think it's great that people are turning out and voting and being active. It's what we should all want right in our democracy. Laura Leslie, WRL News, live in Raleigh.